Hello, hello, welcome back to another Louise Pentland slash, if you're old enough to remember, sprinkle of glitter video. Welcome to 2024. I tell you, this is going to be a whiffle waffle. So pause the video, get yourself a crisp Diet Coke, get yourself some mini eggs. Is it too soon for mini eggs? I feel like it's not. Can I just give you a quick hack for mini eggs? Microwave them for one minute and then squeeze them. So ooey gooey. Mm. So you're welcome already. Um, I've got a lot of notes. I've got a lot of things I want to say. This is a life update. Oh, I don't even know where to start. Um, well, first I will start with a very cheeky request. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please do hit the subscribe button. Please check you are subscribed because I have a few people message me saying, I've always been subscribed and now I'm not. So I don't know, I, you know I'm not techie, but have a little look and also give the video a cheeky like. It really, really helps the algorithm and like the internet bots to boost the video. So thank you for that. Let's get crackalacking. First things first, I'm the realist. Second things second, I've had a bit of time off. I had January pretty much offline, apart from TikTok, more on that in a second. Um, but if you're an avid YouTube watcher, you will note that I didn't post in December, or I didn't post in December, November, and I think I posted at the start of October. What happened was, the last video I uploaded from October, we went to Costco, I bumped into someone from the past that really like hit a nerve and so I just thought, oh that was a lot, I'm going to take a break for a week for thinking about YouTube and that really shook me so I was like, I'll take a break for one week. Then we had our Disney trip in October and Disney trips for me are so full on, like the planning that goes into these. I, do I need to plan that much? I don't need to, no. Could we just go and go with the flow? Of course we could, but I, I am not a go with the flow kind of a gal. Um, so I was like, right, I'll do, I'll enjoy the trip and then I'll get back to YouTube. We come back in November. November and December are my busiest times for online content creation. They are where all the brands, or they are when all the brands want their content making, editing, uploading, um, because obviously brands want to sell things for Christmas. So it was super busy. So I just thought, let's, let's not stress ourselves out here. Let's focus on one thing at a time and then come back. I always take January off line pretty much offline um and so here we are february guess who's back back again louise pentland's back can you believe i've had this channel since 2010 this is its 14th year <laughs> that that is a lot of years of me online i feel like i ought to apologize to you for having to listen to my voice for that long um I did a talk in a school recently. In fact, I've got it in this notepad and um, I wrote down some YouTube facts for the talk. Hang on, this was not part of this video. I wasn't going to share this with you. Um, but now, now I want to share the thing. Bear with. Okay, so YouTube stats. And I could only get the stats from the start of 2012. So there's two years missing. Um, you have what? Well, somebody has watched or had there has been watched... 28,250,079 hours of content and that just blows my mind so thank you very much for that um i i'm just gonna keep going through everything i i feel a bit like chaotic if i'm honest in this moment all day i've been feeling like quite calm and collected but because i've turned the camera on and i can see all the stuff i want to say i feel like i just want to go like <laughs> i just Bleh! at all at you so i just i'll just keep going but apologies for the energy levels here. I've just I've got a lot in me. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, I have been enjoying TikTok this January. I've been a consumer of TikTok for about two years now. What did I say, two, two or three years? And I never really felt like I could crack it. I always felt like I was maybe a bit too old for it or like I couldn't work out the algorithm of it. And I also felt like a little bit of inferiority because I would see all these younger people making all this incredible content and I would look at them and be like, they're so good. <laughs> they are so good. Like we thought we were good as millennials when we started, when we were like posting a flat lay of our waggers with a bit of sepia tone filter. 
you want to see the Gen Zs on TikTok because they are making beautiful content. They are so, like, some of them are so well researched. They're so slick. Like, their presenting style is amazing. And it made me feel a bit like, oh, I'll never be as good as this. Um, and then this last month, I have shifted my mindset a little bit um, and just thought, no, I won't be as good as them because I'm not them but I will be as good as me I'll be as good as I can be and there's a charm in that um I'm not old and wise that's what I'm telling myself this year every time I'm like I'm so old I'm like no no I'm wise like I've been here 15 years I'm like you know in Pocahontas that old tree that has seen all of the forest grow that's me for the internet I'm what was she called like mother tree she wasn't called Mother Tree. Disney would have got a better name for her. Whatever her name is, someone commented, that's what I am for the internet. So, uh, yes, TikTok. I put a little heart next to it. Enjoying Gen Z content. It reminds me of the start. So, their, like, joie de vivre, their excitement for TikTok content creation reminds me of how I felt about YouTube back in like 2010 to 2013 like it was just like running at an empty field full of flowers that and and just like collecting bunches and bunches of flowers this is such a crap analogy but like it was just so exciting like there was so much freedom there was so much space and there was so much abundance that's what i mean by like this field of flowers it was just so like gorgeous and i feel like that's what i'm seeing there and there's a part of me that feels like oddly proud even though like I don't know these people not related to them not their mum but I'm just like yeah you go for it so I'm really enjoying that um I don't love the I, I've, I've put here millennial hate that's hate is really strong am I still filming yes and do I have lipstick on my teeth hopefully not <laughs> um I I have fallen foul to this myself in seeing the differences between the generations and like really focusing on that like i have focused in a lot on fashion and so oh my god skinny jeans aren't in and like long necklaces and parting and all that sort of stuff but hopefully anything i've ever said about it has been like in good spirits and like light-hearted but i'm starting to see i don't know if it's just it's always been there and i haven't seen it or the algorithm is now serving it to me i'm kind of seeing some like mean stuff like a lot of like I think low key mean bullying but like dressed up as comedy skits and again comedy is really subjective isn't it so some people might be like Louise lighten up like get a grip it's not that big a deal and that's okay if you feel that way I, I respect your opinion on that and I'll also prepare to take that on board um but sometimes things I've seen have been like not not okay not nice um I actually just made a TikTok on this this morning um if you go over to I'll link my TikTok below please follow me I don't know if it's follow or subscribe hang on let me just hang on I will check I'll check I was hoping to not do any editing in this video so we're just gonna have to leave this in oh I don't know it just says share profile hang on let me go to someone that I don't follow <laughs> ah, here we go follow it is follow, it's not subscribe. You all knew that because you're all better than this than me. Uh, but it's called Be A Better Human is the thumbnail if you go to my page. Um, I won't redo that video here, but basically I saw a video this morning that was on shorts. So I assume if it's on shorts, it's probably on TikTok as well because we're all just posting the same stuff to shorts, aren't we? That's what I'm planning on doing. Um, <laughs> and it was this woman, um, basically slating Gen Alpha. Gen Alpha are still children. And I was like, oh, not sure about that. Then I looked through a few others and she'd done a one about like really slating millennials and it was harsh. And I was like, wow. And then I looked at the comments thinking, surely people are not gonna be okay with this in the comments. They so were. So this part of me was like, am I, am I being really sensitive about that because I'm a millennial? Um, but I felt a lot more sensitive about the one that was like really laying into Gen Alphas. It was like, um, doing impressions of them but like really nasty with like horrible like squeaky voices and I was like look if you're gonna mock someone mock millennials mock boomers mock gen X, like mock older like don't don't punch down you know like don't mock children 
Also, Gen Alpha are gonna come up in the same way that Gen Z have come up and like spooked some of the millennials in us. Are like, whoa, you're, you're like so much more talented than we are. Gen Alpha will do that as well. And I just think it would be so much better if we welcomed them and also if we welcome Gen, e uh, Gen Z and like, this is all a bit like, uh, you don't even go here, but you know, like welcome people and see what you can learn from them. I remember when I first started and it was like Gen X and the boomers that were like, oh, millennials with their avocados and making money. Look, you see, I'm doing it. I'm mocking them, even though I just said not to do it. So it, it's in us. I'm no better than any, anybody else, but I noticed it today and I didn't like it. I just did it. Can you believe that? I just did a little like, oh, these millennials, because I remember that's what it was like. There was so much like unpleasantness from the uh, the generation above. I don't want to be doing that to the generation below. But did I just mock them? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm prepared. I'm braced for the comments. So I've been reflecting on 15 years not old, wise. Um, I've done three school talks in the last few weeks and they really, like they were, the aim of them was to inspire Gen Alpha, the young people in that school, to um, find the good in social media and to see like what it has the capacity to do. We did also talk about online safety a lot and the dangers of it. And I walked out of there like totally inspired myself. I think I gave myself like a little bit of spark of joy back from where I got a bit tired last year. So that was really nice. Oh, and I also have delivered a three hour Instagram masterclass to some of the mums at my daughter's school who have started small businesses and they wanted to learn how to use it. And that was really nice. I really enjoyed that because it was working with people that, I say working, like I went round to the house and we had snacks and talked about Instagram and I bought my flip chart. Um, but that had like none to small amount of clue about Instagram. So that was really fun. I really enjoyed it and it made me feel very grateful for the journey I've had and the skills that I have learnt. Hold please, I'm going to have a sip of drink out of the much now mocked Stanley Cup. It's not a real one. You can just get them much cheaper on Amazon for a lot less money. Um, that's another thing. I don't like people mocking people that have Stanley Cups because I like Stanley Cups. Pen. Maybe I'm just being very sensitive at the moment. Um, yes, I was really, felt really like grateful for the skills I've learned over the year and how much I just love this industry. And this year I really want to do panels again. Do you remember pre-pandemic? I used to do panels on like industry talks or like VidCon and playlists and places like that. Um, I've put love industry, VidCon, question mark, panels, suggestions. What's out there these days? I know that VidCon still goes. Does playlist still happen? And is it, is it in the same way? Probably not. Um, but I would like in 2024 to put back into the industry again. I think basically after the pan, obviously everything stopped in the Pammy D. Um, do we say Pammy D? <laughs> is that? cool I don't know uh la 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 everything stopped and then I kind of like didn't pick back up with that so I would like to <sighs> we are halfway down the list I feel like I'm making good time family life is really full-on at the moment I think that I make it more full-on than I necessarily need to and that's kind of for me like I am the mum that will try to attend all of the things at school so all the information nights for the school trips and parents evening obviously but also like assemblies and you know how people say you can't do it all I really try to do it all like I never want to miss a sports day I never want to miss uh, a show I never want to miss like sometimes they have these things where you can go and watch them doing like general lessons like sports lessons and whatever open lessons I never want to miss those things and Obviously it's because I want my children to know I'm there for them, but I think this, well, I know this stems from I didn't have that as a kid, so it's very healing for me to do all the things with the girls, but I will say it's taking up a lot of time and energy because there's two of them and they both have like really full on lives, they both do lots of clubs, they both do lots of things that require you to go to the things and be involved in them, so um, 
that takes up a lot of time and I'm learning to juggle that it's interesting because you have a baby and you kind of like learn how to deal with that you're like great nailed it we've done it but then the baby becomes a toddler and suddenly it's like a different set of challenges and you do all that and you get them to school and you think brilliant <sighs> done it hang on drop my pen again sorry guys i was gesturing far too hard um yeah you get them to school and you think yeah smashed it done it they're there Whew, time for me to relax but then it just presents another set of challenges and routines and things to learn to juggle like motherhood is an ever evolving journey um which i'm enjoying but also like it's definitely a personal challenge it doesn't necessarily come easy all the time but i'm enjoying the challenge anyway i'm finding it very healing um you might remember in 2022 i was going for lots of counseling i stopped that at the end of i i don't know if i stopped it just before christmas or just after new year but I know now I have not had counselling or therapy for a year and I felt okay. There was a part of me that thought, oh, well, I'll take a break for like a month or two and see if I want or need to go back. And there's been a couple of times where I've thought, oh, I could do with a little sesh. Um, but do with a little sesh. That sounded really obnoxious. I'm sorry. Um, but I was okay in the end. Um, I am still taking beta blockers occasionally. It's called propanol. Um, not every day, not even every week actually, um, but every now and again I'll get a top up from the GP. Um, this is not medical advice, this is not me saying you should get them, it's just that they help me when I feel like the uncontrollable heart racing and like panic. I don't, I don't want to call it panic because I, I think that you have to be careful when you're talking about panic and anxiety. Um, but yeah, so long story short like my healing journey is going really well I'm really pleased um I'm having less and less beta blockers now as time goes on so I'd like to get to a point where I'm not ever needing to rely on them but I almost feel better knowing that they're there so that I always think like oh if I can't control this it's okay I've got help and more often than not I do manage to like sort of like rational rationalize things and like sort things out so yeah I really Please about that I'm feeling strong and stable as was it Theresa May that said that strong and stable she was she very strong let's not get into politics um yes also on children healing therapy I would like to continue with um my children's charity work this year there's a few children's charities actually I would like to do things with I've got some ideas um I still want to carry on doing a few bits and pieces with the ones that I already work with but there's a couple that I would really like to get involved with so looking forward to exploring that. I'm filming this on the 1st of February so this is like my first day back and I'm having a big call tomorrow to like talk through all these ideas so uh, I don't really have much more to report other than like what I just said. <laughs> Wedding! <sighs> right as you know I have been engaged since 2020 and for lots of reasons that I've talked about in videos that I will link below, the wedding just hasn't happened yet. But guess what? It is happening. We've hired a wedding planner. We've been to view three wedding venues in London. OMG, they were stunning. Liam, um, one of them we thought was beautiful, but not for us. One of them I am like in love with. And another one Liam really likes. We've got three more to view, so I'm not going to make a choice yet. Like, I'm trying not to make a choice, but I feel like in my head I've settled on one. Um, I've also made a big step and bought this. It says Bride's Note Notes. Um, I'll be honest, thought it was going to be bigger than this. <laughs> Tiny. Uh, but how cute is that? Look at those little frilly, pretty pages to write my thoughts down in. Um, we have... We have made progress. We have booked something for it. Um, more on that later. I need. I want to do a whole like wedding video. I also need to start thinking about wedding dresses. I need your help. I feel like almost like <clears throat> like it takes my breath away the fear I have for going wedding dress shopping because I don't remember it fondly um i did go with my friend in america and that wedding dress boutique was so lovely so what i'm about to say is no slight on them as a business because it was 
stunning. Their shop, their range, their stuff, everything, 10 out of 10, can't fault them, this is a me problem. I feel really insecure in those places, like I, can't, I leave feeling terrible about myself. I think because with fashion in general, with dresses, clothes and stuff, I tend to order like 99.9% .9 of all my stuff online. I bring it home to my bedroom. I'm in the privacy of my room. I try it on. It's always got sleeves. It's always got bits covering the bits I want to cover. I look in the mirror, happy days. When you're in a wedding boutique, someone has to help you get changed or like get into the thing. And that makes me feel a bit weird because I'm like, oh, I'm in my like flesh colored pants and you're seeing the tops of my thighs. I know they're not looking, I know they've seen it all before, but it's just from my perspective. And always the dresses are not your size because they have to just have a sample dress in and then they like hold it on you or, or clip it with bulldog clips or put on a panel and it just makes me feel like it make i'll just be brutal makes me feel really fat and and not like i'm big and that's okay or i'm curvy and beautiful but just like old-fashioned fat pig in a dress like i don't feel nice and then they don't have sleeves and, and whenever I've been to any boutique they always say but we can add sleeves but like I want the sleeves on because I don't like looking I feel naked and then you come out into the room and you go on a little like stage thing and everyone looks and you don't and I feel like this is out and I feel like I've just been seen vulnerable in the changes and <laughs> I just <laughs> I just the dr I, again the dresses are beautiful the staff are amazing like it's not it's not you it's, it's not you it's me um where can I go to feel better about that apart from therapy? Like, is there, a, is there a boutique or like a store in London or Northampton, like either around Northamptonshire or in London that specializes in people like me who are either curvy or like feel a bit insecure? I feel embarrassing and feel insecure because I know by this age I should be like, proud of who I am and we're all body positive or at least body neutral and for the most part I am body neutral but in that environment something about it just um but I can't walk down the aisle naked and the wedding's next year so I do need some 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 dresses and I want two dresses so suggestions welcome I've been talking ages what's next oh yeah we're nearly done 2024 is a year for joy i've written here 2020 was survival 21 was a mental dip as you will know we've talked about that a lot 2022 was recovery 2023 was like stability and strength i really felt like i talked about this on instagram today if oh, i won't be there by then basically there was a lot of adulting in 2022 and 2023 like a lot of big stuff i'm talking like a court case dealing with solicitors, um, having to report something pretty big to the police, uh, all these things I'm not going to go into, um, a dispute with a family member over money and that getting all quite serious, but I won't get into it, but what I've learned is never lend or rent to someone without a contract, don't just trust people, <laughs> um, but so, so much like stuff that just isn't fun, it's, it doesn't bring you any joy. All of that was going on all the time and I couldn't talk about it and I'm still not going to talk about it but like it was just a lot uh, but this year last year that kind of all stabilized and I sort of rebuilt felt a lot stronger this year I just want joy I want to say yes to things I'm smiling because I've already said yes to something um, I'm not gonna tell you in this video but I've said yes to something in March that is so not something I have done for a long time um, and I want to reconnect with old friends I want to do things for just the sake of fun a lot of the things that i do these days i find fun but they are involved in other things so like i find doing things for my children fun i find a lot of the work things i get to do like events i get to fun but i want to do things that are not f not work things that happen to be fun or kids parties that i happen to enjoy but just are fun for me and that does feel selfish and I'm trying to get over that because everyone I've spoken to has been like, it's it's all right, <laughs> it's all right to have your own fun. Um, but I think when you get into like the daily and weekly and monthly and annual routine of life as a mum, as an adult, as a partner, blah, 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 you just stop focusing on just like 
you know you've talked too long when your camera cuts you off you just stop focusing on joy for the sake of joy but this year 2024 is my joy year uh and for the things that it's appropriate to i will take you along and we will have some joy vlogs vlogs coming up are um people have asked for the craft party lives to come back we can bring those back i need to look at the schedule but i'm going to find a way i'm going to bring some of those back um, I'm writing a new book this year, so I'm going to take you on that journey with me as well. I want to talk about home versus hospital births, and I want to talk a bit more about birth um, and sort of everything around that. There is a good reason behind that. It's not that I'm pregnant. <laughs> I feel like I ought to just say that. It is not that I'm pregnant. Um, I will leave my hello column below, and there's a clue in there for you. Um, and Costco, I've just written Costco. I need to go to Costco, and who doesn't love a Costco vlog? I would like to do some collabs. I would like to see my lovely friend Katie and do a little, I'd like to do a Costco vlog with her. Um, I've had an idea for a video to do with Phil, and he's game for that, so we're gonna film that. I would like to do a video with Dan, but he's very busy and also terrible at responding to any kind of communication. Like, if you wanna get hold of Dan, you need to call Phil because he's much better. And Dan, I don't think you'll see this, but if you do, I'm not sorry for saying that because that is the truth. Um, who else would you... Hazel, I saw Hazel last year and we talk a bit. So if you would like to see something between us, I think we need Hot or Robot Part 2, myself. Um, only the very oldie book oldies will, will remember that reference. Um, but yes, the time now is three o'clock I need to go and fetch Darcy from her school <sighs> and yeah okay good catch up there was a lot in that life update next week I think I will be uploading um I think a pearl themed video and my upload day is going to be Thursdays should have said that at the beginning because who's still watching now if you're watching could you write in the comments Louise's new upload day is going to be Thursday so that the people that like dropped off at the beginning that did not have the patience and did not get 99 glitter points uh, so they see it. Thank you. Help a gal out. So yeah, I think Thursdays are going to be the new upload day but this is going up on Sunday because I'm filming this on a Thursday and I need a bit of time to edit it. <sighs> have I said everything I want to say? I know as soon as I turn the camera off I'm going to think of a thousand things I wanted to tell you we doing a lot of crafting. I made a necklace that no one likes. All right. Yeah, that's probably it. All right. Thanks ever so much for watching. Love you all lots. Nice to be back. And I'll see you soon. Bye.